Welcome to the Optimum CAD solution. I am Pankaj Ratnaparki. Once again, we'll start our free online course. And today, we are going to focus on the free training for the geometrical dimensioning and tolerances. So here, we are totally covers what is the GDNT, importance of the GDNT, symbols of the GDNT, and how to apply the geometrical dimensioning and tolerances in the actual drawings so agenda for our today's discussion and this free online training is introduction to the geometric dimensioning and tolerances why should the GDNT is used then datum reference frame that is the DRF then datums in the drawing feature control frame material adding condition in this we are going to see maximum material condition least material condition and regardless feature control then different tolerances and its symbols and how we are applying GDNT in the drawing so without wasting the time we'll start for the introduction what is the GDNT the geometrical dimensioning and tolerances is the combination of the symbols and the rules that efficiently describes and controls the dimensioning and tolerances of the drawing like the casting it may be a molding drawing it may be a machining and all manufacturing component so simply the geometric dimensioning and tolerances is the set of the rules and symbol used on the drawing to communicate the intent of the design so the next why GDNT is used the core purpose of the GDNT is to make sure that the part function properly. With the focus being on the function of the part, GDNT allows a large tolerances for less important design feature, which results in the cost saving for the manufacturing. Majorly, GDNT is used as a as a symbolic language of the design. The GDNT is used to specify the size shape, locations, and orientation of the feature of any size. The GDNT reflects the actual relationship between the mating component. The drawing with properly applied geometrical dimensioning and tolerances provides the best opportunity for the uniform interpretation. So next one, geometric dimensioning and tolerances used as a design tool. So before applying this geometrical dimensioning and tolerances, designer must be careful to consider the fits and the function of each part. That means designer should focus totally by considering about the function of the part, manufacturing process of the part, inspection method for the particular part. Hence the part with the larger tolerances assembled properly or function greatly and reduce the manufacturing and inspection cost. Next one, geometrical dimensioning and tolerances used to communicate the design intent. That means GDNT scheme identifies all the datum required and the references or the reference surfaces required for the feature being controlled to this datum. That means properly tolerance drawing is not a picture of the shape of the part, but it describes all important relationship between the feature. Also, GDNT has a different kind of uses like to save the money. GDNT enhance design accuracy by allowing for the appropriate tolerances that maximize the production. For many of the project, the process provides extra or a bonus tolerances, further increasing in the cost effectiveness. Also, the use for ensuring the dimensional and tolerances requirement, assisting the digital design methods, offering the uniformity and convenience, Providing accurate communication. As we already discussed, and in the in the market, it's a today's demand that design should be accurate and it communicate properly. So GDNT enable designer, manufacturer, and inspector to communicate clearly with each other. It it will be save the time and making the process more efficient. Simply, the drawing should indicate the intent of the design function of the part, different assembly interfaces and the inspection points in the drawing by applying the GDNT. 
will go for the next next one is a datum the datum is a exact surface line point axis or a cylinder from which the measurement is to be taken this is the symbolical representation of the datum as this a is indicate it's a first datum if in the drawing there are a different datum we required then we can go for the b c as per our requirement so this indicate this is the a a datum this is the b datum this bottom surface is a c datum so also it has a different representation like a this one then cylindrical you can say as a datum a so there are the different representation as per the standards a datum is a plane straight line or a point that is used as a reference when processing the material or a measuring of the dimension of the target the datum feature is the surface of the part to be inspect so you can see this image from this image this is the component or we can say it's the part to be inspect so this is the datum feature the datum simulator is the surface of the feature which is used to inspect or surface of the inspection tooling target so normally we kept our component and we hold by using some ins instrument that instrument is nothing but the datum feature simulator once we hold that component after then we will fix it and we'll start for the inspection or a dimension to be taken for that particular part this is the theoretical exact datum plane where it going to be touch this is the contact point as i shown by the circles here next one that is the drf drf is the datum reference feature frame drf is the first step while applying the gdnt and it is most important concept in the geometric dimensioning and tolerances datums are used in the gdnt drawing to create the reference system for inspecting a manufactured part this reference system is called as datum reference frame that is the drf datums are derived from the datum feature datum features are real tangible features on the part and are usually important functional surfaces in order to inspect the manufactured part as per the drawing the three plane concept is necessary you can see in the image this is the x y and z so this total component is based on the three planes thus three planes are perpendicular to each other which are required to taking the measurement in the terms of the gdnt it is the datum reference feature frame and in terms of the mathematics it is the cartesian coordinate system drf is created by the datum simulator which are the actual surfaces of the manufacturing processing and inspection component such as the surface table machine table etc so you can see that those are the datum simulator so from image it is a simulator b simulator and c simulator and this is the component so datum reference frame the datum reference frame consists of the three inspection plane at 90 degree to the each datum simulator are always in contact with the datum feature of the part which are perfect hence the measurement can be done with reference of the datum simulator which are assumed to be nearly perfect and gives accurate precise value while inspection of the part so to simplify the datum simulator datum and datum feature kindly refer this table so in that you can see datum which is established from the part feature on the part the simulator datum that is the tooling used to establish the feature location and orientation of the part then datum feature that is the actual feature of the part mated to the simulator datum surface so example of the datum like a point line or a plane it is perfect and it's a imaginary so from this image you can see so i'll just open that image so this is the part and this is the contact 
or we can say it's a line contact it's a point contact it is imaginary again we'll go for that table then simulator datum examples like derived from the machine table then check surface or plates or v blocks etc it is very accurate and it's real and datum feature that is the plane surface hole spin hole slot stable etc its accuracy made within the tolerances of the part so here we are adding that tolerances and it's a real so drf always contact with the datum simulator datum uh, simulator has a purpose to make the accurate measurement so we'll go for the next that is the feature control frame the feature control frame is divided into the three component or we can say three compartment first compartment where the geometrical characteristics are there then tolerances are there and the datum so we will see in the details so this is the first compartment this is the second compartment and this is the third so the first here the geometrical characteristics are there so this is the position symbol so we we can say this is the geometrical uh, geometric tolerances symbol so next one will indicate the diameter diameter symbol so this third one will indicate numerical tolerance value and next one that material uh, conditions or a modifier this is the primary datum secondary datum and is a tertiary datum with the modi uh, material condition or a modifier this this is the symbolic representation in the drawing for the datum control frame in the next video we will see in the detail what are the tolerance symbols then uh, the numerical tolerances value how it will be selected as per the material maximum material condition or a least material condition then uh, the datums we already discussed but how it will be indicate or we can adopt in the drawing and uh, different material conditions for the datum also so guys be connecting with us we'll continue the free online gdnt training in the next so thank you for watching our youtube channel hope we are providing all best technical knowledge to you so i request please subscribe our youtube channel thanks